Thursday. You guys know I love nerding out on real estate and so many of our customers call us to take care of those honeydews and chores around the house so they can sell their homes and summer is a big time to sell your home. So I'm going to give you just a few quick tips to work on selling your home in the summer. Number one, do a deep clean. Get rid of all the nasties. Two, keep it bright. Open up the windows. Makes the room look bigger. Three, have a comfortable temperature. Nobody wants to sweat their butt off while walking around your home looking at it. Declutter. Put that stuff away. Rent a storage shed if you need to. Depersonalize. Put all your personal stuff away. They don't want to see you in the house. They want to see them in the house. Don't forget to clean the ceiling fans and make sure that they're up to date, that they don't look like 1972 barfed all over them. You want to have some refreshments in the house so when they're there, they'll feel at home and cozy. You want to have outside the home power washed. You don't want it looking icky and gross. You don't want milled and mildew. It'll cost you a couple hundred dollars to get the house power washed or go get a good power washer for a couple hundred dollars. Tackle the obvious things outside. If you have an old refrigerator sitting there from 1922 that your grandma gave you and you're never going to use it, I don't even know if they had electricity back then, but get rid of it. Put on a fresh coat of paint. Come on. Put on a fresh coat of paint so people will like what they're seeing. If they pull up and there's stuff peeling off, nobody wants that. Mow your lawn. Take care of the front door. Keep your lawn green as long as you can. Give your flower bed a facelift. Pull some of those weeds. They're not going to magically go away by going, there's no weeds, there's no weeds, there's no weeds. You have to actually get down and pull them out. Hire a landscaper if you need to. Take care of those trees and shrubs around the house too. Nobody wants to see those overgrown and gross. Nobody wants to work, move into a house that's going to take weeks and weeks worth of work before they can even enjoy enhance the outdoor living area. This is huge right now. When people move into a house, they want an outdoor living area, especially with everything going on in the world. They have to stay at home and enjoy it. Get rid of the spider webs. If you have a tarantula issue, like we sometimes do in Texas, in August, they dig holes. They like to stay on the side of the house. Get rid of them. If they walk up to your house and they see a huge tarantula, unless they're a freak, they're not going to buy it. Get rid of the tarantulas. Now, on the real estate side, hire a professional realtor. You want to hire a professional realtor that sells more than a house every other year. You want to hire a realtor that they do real estate as their career, that they know what they're doing. Are they full time? How long have they been in real estate? Will they constantly communicate with you about the sale of the house? Will they market your property? And are they internet savvy? When I think of realty in Waco, Texas, there is one realtor that comes to mind. If I'm buying or selling a house, I'm using that realtor because he is amazing he is the guy to go to i've learned so much from real estate from this guy so he is the one i would always go to if i was personally buying or selling houses also with your realtor have a price reality check yeah you grew up in that house yeah you raised your babies in your house that house yeah you're moving on to the last part of your life from that house but that worth that house is not worth a half a million dollars. It is worth $222,000. Have a reality check and have a realtor that will be honest with you. So it won't stay on the market long. You list it, you sell it within 21 days. Consider pre-listing the home with a home inspection. You want to get a good home inspector. Be flexible for the showing hours and then provide schooling information. Millennials are growing up, their kids are getting older, they want to buy houses in nice school districts. So have that information available for them so they don't have to go looking for it. The money side of things, 
How much money do you owe on that house? What are your closing costs? These are some things you want to know. You want to think about the outside cost of selling a home too. The new home you're buying, do you need a down payment? What kind of moving expenses are you going to have? How many things do you have to put in storage? Do you have to rent a storage shed? If your new home isn't ready when you're done selling that house, what are you going to do in that time? Are you going to have to rent a house for a month or two? Money lost from work when you're moving. Deposits for utilities. Here's another thing people don't think about. Hits them in the face. Taxes. Yeah. IRS wants their cut if you made a profit and if you don't turn around and buy another property. So you want to think about that. And the last one, how's your credit to buy a new house? I was talking to a realtor last week and she told me somebody sold their house and they did not qualify for a new house. So they had to rent after they already listed and sold their house because they didn't get pre-qualified. Oh my God. What a nightmare. These were just some tips for selling your home in the summertime. Have a great day. Bye-bye.